Johnny Knoxville has introduced a breath of fresh air to the American cinema landscape with his distinct flair for entertaining people, barging into the entertainment industry with his reckless deeds and antics. Despite the fact that he has put in a lot of effort to realize his dream, he had been dismissed. As it turned out, this is why. It's difficult to dislike Johnny Knoxville. He's witty, personable, and appears to be a genuinely kind guy. While we all know him from Jackass, he stated that in order to get that project off the ground, he worked his tail off. Before he finished high school, he knew he wanted to be an actor, so he packed his belongings and moved to Hollywood. The 46-year-old appeared in a few commercials and appeared as an extra in a few films, but he was unable to secure that major role. I was making my livelihood doing commercials for things like ESPN, Mountain Dew, and Bud Light, Knoxville told Maxim. Because I had a little child and needed to generate money, I was a full whore. I had an idea for an article where I would test different types of self-defense equipment on myself. A few magazines wanted the story, but nobody wanted the liability. Everyone was fine with the pepper spray and the stun gun and the taser gun. Where it got shady was where I was testing a bulletproof vest with a .38. The only magazine that would do it was Big Brother. That magazine centered on street skating and skateboarding culture, but they could cover almost any subject they chose, and nothing was off bounds. They published articles on how to commit suicide or make a fake ID, and they quickly became a fan favorite in the skating community due to their outrageousness. They jumped at the chance to test new self-defense devices when Knoxville came knocking. Great Brother hired Knoxville as a journalist when the video became a big hit. They brought in Bam Margera and his CKY crew, which featured Ryan Dunn, Brandon DiCamillo, and Rob himself as they proceeded to post fantastic content. They approached a number of television networks with the idea for Jackass, and eventually, MTV agreed to sign on the dotted line. The show was an instant hit, propelling actors like Knoxville, Steve-O, and Margera to celebrity status, Johnny explains. It was startling at first, but it was a lot of fun in the end, and I think I had a little too much of a good time. I didn't deal with it as well as I could have. It's difficult to picture a world without Jackass and its spin-off series Wild Boys, Vita La Bam, and Homewrecker, and we can thank Johnny Knoxville for having the guts to get sprayed, shocked, and shot in 1998 to bring the concept into the mainstream. Why did Bam Margera sue him? Bam Margera, a former Jackass star and pro skater, is suing Johnny Knoxville and Paramount Pictures for his dismissal from the upcoming Jackass 4 film. The latest installment in the beloved idiotic stunt franchise, officially titled Jackass Forever, arrives over a decade after Jackass 3D catapulted fans to new heights of humor. Much has changed in the Jackass crew since Ryan Dunn's terrible death in 2011, but despite the highs and lows, and those who have helped to shape the series into what it is now, the franchise isn't ready to go just yet. There's more to this so stay tuned. From the beginning, Knoxville and co-creators Spike Johns and Jeff Tremaine seem to have a clear vision for what they wanted to do with Jackass. That may sound like a big statement given the franchise's offerings aren't exactly high art, but what many may dismiss as cheap chuckles requires careful forethought and a complete disdain for pain. Whether admirable or not, few sane individuals want to be exposed to even a fraction of what Jackass has been known for over the years. Many individuals, on the other hand, are willing to pay to watch the Jackass crew take on the challenge. It's easy to see why the Jackass members have formed such a strong friendship. However, as previously said, much has changed in recent years, and some of the connections formed as a result of Jackass have begun to fall apart. This was the situation with Bam Marjra, who was removed from the franchise earlier this year after failing to keep a contractually obliged sobriety promise in Jackass 4. Marjra was irritated by the dismissal, and the latest development in the ongoing controversy is a lawsuit filed by Marjorite against Knoxville, Paramount, Tremaine, and Johns. The complaint, according to IndieWire, is aimed at the wellness agreement Marjorite claims he was coerced to sign. One of the numerous drug tests Marjorite was forced to submit to demonstrated that he was taking prescription Adderall. Defendants knew full well that Marjorite had to take Adderall to treat his attention deficit disorder. He had been on this medication for several years, but all of this notwithstanding, and without even giving Marjorie an opportunity to explain, Paramount fired him. Marjorie allegedly followed the wellness agreement to a T throughout the early phases of filming Jackass Forever, according to the lawsuit, blowing into a breathalyzer three times a day, submitting to a urinalysis twice a week, 
having his hair follicles examined on a regular basis, and taking tablets each morning while on a FaceTime conversation with a doctor hired by Paramount were all part of the significant agreement. Marjorie was eventually fired for failing to adhere to the agreement, which his current complaint claims were due to his use of the prescription drug Adderall. Marjorie's battles with drugs and alcohol had become increasingly well-known among his supporters and jackass fans in recent years. Judging by the lawsuit's particulars, it does seem that Marjorie potentially has a strong case against Knoxville, Tremaine, Johns, and Paramount. But the truth of the matter is that the former jackass star has been fighting substance abuse for long enough now that his friends were well aware of what it would take to get him into top form for Jackass 4. The wellness agreement may have been strict, but Knoxville and the others were trying to help their friend get his life back under control once more. How did Johnny respond? Members of the Jackass family have recently found themselves in a stalemate. The repercussions from Bam Marjorie's removal from the presence in production Jackass 4 has put him on the outs, with legal actions keeping him there for the foreseeable future. Now, in a new interview, series star Johnny Knoxville addresses the issue in a measured but emotional speech. In his new interview with THE, Knoxville didn't say much, but what he did say expressed his displeasure with Bam Marjorie's recent behavior. Marjorie is boycotting Jack S4 because of his non-participation, therefore the subject is still a hot topic. With that in mind, here's what Johnny Knoxville has to say. We want Bam to be happy and healthy and get the help he needs. We try to push that along. I think that's all I really want to say about it. I don't want to get into a public back and forth with Bam. I just want him to get better. Given the intensity of the turmoil surrounding Jack S4, it's understandable that Johnny Knoxville would be wary of speaking to the press about the project. In further developments in the ongoing controversy of Bam Marjorie's removal from the film, series director Jeff Tremaine issued a restraining order against the actor. After being booted off the latest sequel, Marjorie allegedly threatened Tremaine and his family. In reference to why Bam Marjorie was even kicked off of Jack S4 in the first place, all signs point towards a relapse that violated his contract for the upcoming Paramount sequel. Because a condition of his participation was to maintain sobriety, Marjorie's failure to do so caused him to be removed from the movie he was fighting to stay a part of, which brings us to Johnny Knoxville's reaction to this scenario, which seems to allude to those contractual obligations, while he also speaks in a caring manner towards his colleague. No one could have predicted that the production of Jackass 4 would result in such a disastrous outcome. For the time being, all anyone can do is keep watching the show and hope that Bam Marjorie receives the care he requires. Maybe one day the whole tale will be known. But for now, Johnny Knoxville's best wishes go out to Marjorie, as all he wants is for his former co-star to get better. On October 22, Jackass 4, which will reportedly be Johnny Knoxville's final contribution to the franchise, will welcome its own brand of stunts into theaters. Should that or any other picture scheduled for release this year have to be rescheduled, the two films will be re-released on the same day. Before we conclude, what are your thoughts on this scenario? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for taking the time to read this. For more, subscribe to the channel and switch on post notifications for more amazing videos. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.